Hey y'all, so um, I wanted to show y'all something before I start the doormat making video. So this is my package that I got from Amazon. Everybody know that logo. And what's inside is what's gonna make your doormat all the better. So let's toss that. It is a rug. If you're making a doormat for your porch on your front door, put it on a rug. It has to go on a rug. Like the rug is the little razzle dazzle, like gives your your doormat the character. You just can't have the doormat out there on the porch. You got to have the doormat on the rug. And I got this from Amazon. It was $14. And it's blue because my home is blue, but they have other color options as well. But I just wanted to show y'all this rug, because you have to have the rug to go with your doormat. The nerve of me to make doormats for everybody else, make door signs for everybody else, and craft, and my porch to look the way it does. See y'all look. Not a sign, doormat, flower, nothing in sight. I should be ashamed. You see how long the porch is? Like I can do so much with my porch and I just haven't done a thing. But let's get into the video. Okay, um, go over to your Cricut Design Space on a new page and click Shapes, and we're gonna grab a square. So if you watched my first video on for beginners how to make a doormat, you already know what trick we're gonna use. We're gonna use this brown square to mimic our doormat. So we're gonna have to change the dimensions of the brown square to a 30 inch width and an 18 inch height and zoom out to 25%. So this, the brown square is really just to make a preview of how your mat would come out and how your images would look on your mat before you actually cut out your stencil. So that's what we're doing here is making a stencil. So I use the font Futara, F-U-T-A-R-A, -A, and I use the style Bold. So our doormat today will say Home of the, and then my family's last name, which is Walford. So it's gonna say Home of the Walfords. So I like the font Futara because it's bold, as you can see, and I changed the dimensions of Home of the to a 23.5 inch width and a five inch height in which I'm actually going to re resize towards the end. And then I also use the font Belinda for my family's last name. And Belinda is B-E-L-I-N-D-A. It's a cursive font that I use all the time. And I love this font. So if you're looking for a great cursive font, Belinda is a font that I suggest. So I'm going to change the size of Walford's to a 23.5 inch width and a 10 inch height, in which I'm also going to change the font of that towards the end as well. So here, home of the, I kind of wanted it to be a little smaller, like in the center of Walford's, and it was just too long. So there's no right and wrong way to do your mats. So that's why I suggest doing this trick, like so you can kind of catch a preview of uh, how your mat will look before you actually cut it. So I changed the dimensions of Walford's to a 23.5 by 11.5, and Home of the is by a 15 inch width and a four inch height. So right now I'm just, you know, playing with it, but. I actually changed it to a 15 inch width and a four inch height. And Walford's again is at a 23.5 by 11.5. So this turned out, um, this is how I wanted it. So I click make it. So it's saying project incompatible because you have to get rid of that brown square because it's too big and that's not something that we can actually cut and we don't need it anyway. So just delete that. And here is letting you know that you will need the 12 by 24 inch mat. You will need the long mat to make this project. And this will work for any last name. I mean, the last name that I'm using is seven letters. So it will work for any last name. And once you make it, go ahead and cut everything out. And I have everything cut out. So now I'm ready to transfer. 
So here I'm transferring the top of the mat. This says home of the, I've actually cut it out. I haven't weeded it out yet, but I have cut it out and I'm just laying my tape on both sides. Again, guys, if you have not watched my first video, the full tutorial on how to make the stencil, weed the stencil and apply it to your doormat, I highly suggest you click this link and go watch that video. It's a full tutorial and I make it very easy and it's very detailed. So here, this is my transfer um, paper. I'm just gonna lay it on top of my stencil that I made using premium vinyl. And then once you pull it up and peel it back, peel the back off of it, you are ready to lay it on your mat. And again, the same way that I'm doing the home of the is the same way I'm gonna do Walford's for the bottom of the mat. So this is how it should look, and now it's ready to lay on your mat. So do the same thing for the last name. So I've already pressed down my premium vinyl, and you see how it's molded to my mat. And I used had the heat set at 260. So I have my paint ready to paint. I always hand paint letters and my images on my mat, always hand paint. And I use acrylic paint, just plain black acrylic paint. And so here's what it looks like once I've painted and I did peel up the vinyl while the paint was wet, very carefully. So again, you can peel it up while it's wet, just be very careful. Now it's time for the top. So I took my mat outside because I wanted to um, paint like lines on the sides of the mat to create a border. And I used black flex seal. So you can't see what I'm doing, what I mean by the lines on the side as far as a border right now. But once I come to the other side, you'll be able to see a closer look of what I mean by um, spray painting lines on the sides. And I just put the lines on the sides just to give it a little pop, just to give it more character, like I say. So when I come around to the side, you'll be able to see better um, firsthand what I mean by uh, spray painting the line. And again, I'm using black flex seal for the sides. And I use the poster board to create an even line, if that makes sense. So you can see here, um, I'm just creating an even line, and then I'm gonna spray it with the Flex Seal just to create a little border on the side of the mat. Um, and I, did, I didn't lay nothing down on my table because I didn't have anything to lay down, but I did spray my table in which I didn't think it would make a difference because the table was already spray painted. But I did go back and wipe off that Flex Seal. So this is how the mat turned out. It turned out nice and perfect per usual. And here it is outside um, on my porch just so you can see a better view. And here we are, guys. We are done. You see how that rug give it gives it its, you know, purpose, its character. And it looks great. It looks so great. It's drying, so if you lay your mat out while it's wet, don't step on it. Please remember not to step on it. Just don't even lay it out like I did so you don't forget not to step on it if that makes sense. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, go check out my last doormat video. If you're interested in making doormats, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks.